Ever stuck for ideas on what your next video should be? Or what you could change to further improve your Twitch stream for your viewers? Well, I'm Honorary Biscuit and... Same, honestly. Jokes aside, I've struggled, and sometimes still do struggle, to come up with ideas for videos, in making decisions about the next steps I should be taking, or for my Twitch stream and my other projects. Sometimes, as much as you sit and think and think, you get nothing, and if you do get something, you realise it's a rubbish idea. So, how do we counteract this creator's block? Well, over the years I've developed a few methods, and so today I'm going to be sharing those ideas with you. The first suggestion I always make is to look around yourself. Not IRL, but in the online space. Who are the people creating similar content to you? I'm not suggesting you just copy them, but I will say using videos to inspire your own ideas can often work wonders, and also there's the option of collaborating with said creator in the future if what they produce really inspires you. Many of my videos are inspired by certain individuals, and many who know me know that I've made my YouTube inspirations quite obvious, and in the case of videos like these, talking about certain topics over gameplay, older C Nana's videos come to mind, and some of the discussion videos Epos Fox has created inspire me to help creators. In the case of my Minecraft content way back when, I was inspired by the Uggscast, and even that one time I made a really crummy, poorly edited Funny Moments video, I was inspired by creators like Soviet Womble and Fitz. Though in reality you can have all the motivation and inspiration in the world and still come up short, sometimes something doesn't just click. So what now? Well, if the path ahead is not clear, then just take your first step. By this what I mean is, you might be lacking a big idea or eureka moment today, and you could sit there all day brainstorming and call it work, but the reality is if you sit and you don't think about your next project, but instead think about what you can get done today, then you can be more productive overall. I find sitting and procrastinating, looking for an idea, is generally ineffective, and I will admit I'm still guilty of doing it sometimes, but you'll thank yourself later if you get things done today that you would have had to do anyway. Even if it's simple things like creating lower thirds or small edits for your future videos, making your life when the idea comes easier. Small, simple tasks will distract yourself from the idea crunch mode for a while, and when you come back, you'll have a fresh mind and the idea should come easier. I also mentioned networking, which kind of leads on to my next point, which is to ask your friends or fellow creators or even your audience what they would like to see from you. A lot of the time, the people have solid ideas that you wouldn't really have considered. This eases the idea processing from just your mind, and now you have a network of minds thinking about what you could create. Create. I think my favourite benefit to this point is that people will give you ideas that you may have dismissed yourself for some reason. Things like not being talented enough, or not knowing enough, or thinking that no one would really be interested, but having a second opinion on an idea is, well, a good idea. Finally, if you've done all these things and still haven't got an idea, I have one final suggestion. Take a break. And when I say take a break, I mean a serious step back. Get yourself off your PC, put your phone away, go outside. Go out and do things with friends and family, and don't even think about creating ideas, whether it's for a day or a week. The crunch that comes sometimes with being a creator, especially if you're full-time and not just a hobbyist like me, can really take a toll on your mental health, and coming up with ideas can be really stressful. You need sometimes just to take a break, and look after yourself, because you can get burnt out, and some people get burnt out for good. Anyway, I'm afraid that's all I've got for you this video. Hopefully some of this advice is helpful, though I did just make a video about not having ideas, because I had no ideas, so take that as you will. Though, I will say all the things I've said in this video are things I've done for myself at some point or another, and they've helped me, so hopefully it helps you. Thanks for watching. If this was useful, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you didn't, be sure to tell me I'm worthless in the comments below. This has been Ordinary Biscuit, and until the next time, farewell.